Well, hello there, SketchUp for Schools friends. Today I've got a project for you. Uh, I'd like you to start by clicking on the hamburger tool, and I want you to switch model info to millimeters. When you've got it to millimeters, return to that front screen. Let's click on Mike and delete them, and let's put a name on our file. And today I'm going to name it Cookie Cutter because it's something that I think is super cool to make with SketchUp. I'm gonna make this part of a theme and uh, you can extend it to something cooler than what I do, but we're gonna start with just a simple house cookie cutter, like a gingerbread house. Uh, since I wanna 3D print it, I'm gonna make this 60 comma 60 millimeters in size. I'm gonna click the awesome zoom tool and I'm gonna zoom right to the extents. So it goes to the exact size, and then I'm going to scroll out a little bit, switch to the Orbit tool, and I'm going to drag so I can see it from above. If I want this to look like a house, I need to find the midpoint with the Line tool, and I'm going to stretch it out, and I'm going to go another 20 millimeters. I'm then going to connect it to the corners, and then I'm going to erase all those lines. The first tool I'd like you to use to make this cookie cutter is the offset tool. So with our cool house shape, click on the offset and I'd like you to do a three millimeter offset. Click the space bar and then click the center and delete it. Use your push pull tool by clicking the push pull tool and raise that up two millimeters so that it's got a little bit of solidness that you can grab. This will be the outline that is left and now we simply need to make the cutout part and to do that we'll do offset again. Click on that face and we want to do a one millimeter offset by typing one and pressing enter. When you do push pull you can then raise that up as far as you want. I'm going to choose to raise mine up seven millimeters because I think that is a good thickness for a cookie. I'm gonna switch to the orbit and I'm gonna tape a look and this will be sweet because it can print and have the nice solid edge to build off and have a nice thin edge for making the cookie cutout. So there you have it, a super simple cookie cutter. You can save it and then you can use the awesome download as an STL to put it in your favorite uh, printer tool and then make a copy of. Thanks for following along. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have other ideas.